welcome to today's video. I'm Bethany. If you're new here, I'm a mom of three and I do motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So welcome. I thought I would do a bonus video for you all this week and kind of share with you some of my Dollarama favorites and like must haves. I love Dollarama and if you're from Canada, you know all about it. They have some really great and affordable things there. I have been going there for quite a while and I have a big list of things in my home that are definitely favorites of mine. I feel like every time I go there, I find something awesome. And so I'm gonna share basically all of my faves with you today. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing on my list here is my utensil holder in my kitchen. I just have all my utensils super close to my oven and my stove. And I actually have gotten a lot of these utensils from Dollarama as well, like the whisk, the little spatulas, the wooden spoons. I actually got all of them there. They're super affordable and that's why I love Dollarama so much. Next one here on my list is my paper towel holder. It is awesome because I feel like it's aesthetically pleasing, like a lot of things that I find there. Next thing right close to my paper towel holder is this iPad or iPhone holder and it's just made out of bamboo or wood and I actually can prop my iPad in there and I like to use this when I am like prepping meals so I can put like a YouTube video on or like listen to music and stuff and just have it there. Another great thing that I find at Dollarama are awesome tea towels. I really love this brown and white um, gigum style. Is it called gigum? I don't know. Gig ham? I don't know. Anyway, I really like this pattern on there. They have a lot of great tea towels there that are really affordable. I think I paid like a dollar for for one, which I think is a really great price. So I thought these were really cute. Okay, another thing is my coffee canister. You can actually get bigger ones of these, but I only found the smaller one when I was there. And all of these things that I'm listing today, you can actually probably find them there at Dollarama now. Like it's not that I got all of these things a really long time ago. These things you can probably go and find. So just keep that in mind. Then also I found these super cute mugs. I saw them there and I literally had to grab them. They were $1.25 each and they are pottery. Like they're, they're ceramic. They're really nice, really beautiful. And I have seen similar ones elsewhere and they were at least $6 each. So I thought that that was a really good find. Okay, I was just going around my kitchen and I totally forgot something that I cannot believe I forgot. And that is my snack platter. I got this at Dollarama probably over two years ago now. And I love it so much. They actually had red and green ones at Christmas time and they are the best for like kids snacks or just like having people over and entertaining. It's amazing. I got it for $3 and it's been by far one of the, my most favorite things that I have gotten there, so I cannot believe I forgot it, but it's amazing. Okay, also I recently organized my pantry. If you guys saw my last video, I kind of talk about that, but basically I got all of these glass canisters that I use, say for baking soda, baking powder, and just a bunch of different things like cornstarch, and I have it in my pantry, and I've also used it for some of my kids' things as well and it's just a great way to store like little things and it look really aesthetically pleasing. Also in my pantry, I have these white organization bins. I've been getting organization bins at Dollarama for literally forever. They have really awesome ones. And again, they're super affordable. So that's always a plus. And they always have like a bunch of different colors, but I really love the white ones. Okay, so this is actually a lipstick holder, but I use this for my oils that I like to diffuse. So I thought it was a really cute way to put my oils on display. And I just put this right next to my diffuser and I think it looks really nice. Also, I shared this in our homeschooling essentials video, but this is our kind of marker and pen holder. I actually have this on top of our homeschooling kind of station and it's kind of, it's plastic, but it's really durable and it's nice when I can just bring this over to the table instead of bringing like their big box of like markers and crayons and just have that, that big box out, but this is great. They can just grab it and use it whenever they want. Okay, also I found these cute little mushrooms at Dollarama, they're wooden and they were completely natural looking. So there was nothing on them, but my daughter really wanted to paint them and she wanted to paint them like a red agaric mushroom. And so we painted them and she actually uses them for counting and for like adding and subtracting. So she really loves using these and I just think they look so cute. <laughs> Some other things that I found are my brush. It's actually a wooden brush and it's really good quality. I've been using it for quite a while now. And then also I found these hair clips at Dollarama as well. I got it in a pack of four. I'm actually wearing one right now. Um, there was like a brown one, a cream one, a black one, and then a pink one. And I 
use them all the time. This is like my go-to hairstyle right now. I feel like they hold up my thick hair too, which is actually quite amazing. Okay, so now moving on. I really love this little glass container that I found there. Again, with the bamboo lids, I find they're so cute. Usually I just put my chapstick and sometimes I'll put my wedding rings in there if, if I just wanna take them off, to say to like shower or clean or like bake and everything. So I put them in there so it's like a really safe place for them. And I really love the pattern on it. I thought it was adorable. Okay, another thing I find there, I am not good at keeping real plants alive. Like that's just, it's so sad. Like if it's a garden outside, it's different, but like inside, it's so hard for me to keep them alive. But I find a lot of these little fake plants at Dollarama and it's nice to just put them around the house to bring a little bit of greenery. And if you can see in the background here, I actually have this macrame plant holder. I got that at Dollarama quite, quite a while ago, but I've still seen them there recently. I think those were maybe around $2 each. So that's also a great find. Okay, something in my bedroom that I really love is this picture frame. I actually put a bunch of Polaroids in here of me and my husband, and I really love it on our dresser. It was, I think, a dollar for this picture frame, and I thought it was super cute. I really love the gold on it. I got this cotton pad holder for all of my cotton pads when I remove my makeup, and I thought it was a great way to store them instead of just having like the plastic bag sitting out on my counter. So I thought that was really cute. And then I have this kind of bathroom organizer for like hair ties, um, like anything you kind of want to put in there, you can do that. Okay, and lastly, I have this fridge magnet that looks like a piece of loose leaf paper, which is really nice. I actually will put lists on this and my kids love to draw on it. And I found this for a dollar and it's been great because sometimes I just put things on there that I need and I don't want to forget or just like little lists on there, which is awesome. Oh, and actually lastly, I found this spice shelf at Dollarama as well. And I actually got all of my spices containers, the glass ones from Dollarama as well. I think it's a three pack for $1.25, which is unbelievable, it's such a good price. And so it actually fits all of my spices perfectly. And I love how I can see them and just grab them when I need to when I'm cooking. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollarama favorites and like must-haves that I found recently. I love Dollarama so much and I know I'm not alone in that. So anyways, if you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. We are so close to 100K and I can't wait to hit that milestone with you. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.